Hi guys, this is an update on the uh, Orca Hurricane that I've had in progress for quite some time and it's been uh, one of my most popular videos on YouTube so I thought it was about time to crack on with it. Uh, so what we're going to look at today is the progress I've made on it. So as you can see the whole thing is made out of foam. Uh, XPS phone uh, with the hot wire CNC machine and each one of these formers has been cut out of the machine and then glued together and I'm trying to do it as a as a Desert Air Force Hurricane with the um, extra air intake on it I like the look of this one a lot, so uh, so that's the paint scheme that's going to be done in. But uh, it's been quite challenging to get um, certain things done on this. One of the um, biggest issues is that I've had with it has been the wing seat. Just take the parts off. Of my head. So as you can see, um, the CNC machine doesn't actually cut this out, so I'll have to cut this out by hand um, as best I could, and then uh, then add the wing fairings on, which has been quite tricky to do. One of the issues I've had is how to get it a smooth finish around there. But basically, what I did was. Uh, got the some small triangular stock inside first, glued onto the fuselage, then some thin bolster, then glued on over that, and this was soaked in water to make it more pliable, and then stuck on. And then, and then after that, what I did then is put some. Uh, cling film around the wing seat, around the wing, sorry, and then pushed it in. And once it was in, I then used some uh, car body filler. I thought normal filler wouldn't be strong enough, so I used some car body filler. I then just basically packed it in there, and then once it had dried off, um, smoothed it off. I've done a similar thing around the, the back as well. The back end's been quite challenging as well. So you can see, uh, I mean, there's still quite a lot to do and a lot of uh, filling to do. Uh, the other thing that's been uh, quite challenging is the um, this extra air cow. There's a small piece just to fit in there as well, which uh, still needs a lot more work doing on it to get it ready. But um, I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the year. Uh, I'm actually going to be retiring from work at the end of the year after I think 40, 40 odd years working, started in 1973. So, uh, um, and I'm retiring a little bit early, probably about four years early than I should be. So, should then have a lot more time to, to do what I want to do, not what I have to do. So she's not looking too bad now. Uh, the wing seat's not come out uh, too bad. And I'm quite pleased with the wing as well. Uh, it's got the bolster tips on the end to prevent any uh, damage as it lands. Uh, you know, if you tip a wing a little bit with being foam, it'd probably just tear it to pieces. Um, so as you can see there, the uh, doesn't look too bad around the wing seat coming around the, the wing. Uh, still some more filling to do and sanding down. And I've got the uh, tropical air filter. Um, not 100% happy with that yet. Still need a bit more sorting out on that. 
and there's this small piece that goes on the back of the wing uh, when I get when I get the right bit I've made two or three of these before I'm, so yeah they're still uh, when I get back in shot there's still um, quite a bit to do on that side of it uh, the, the back end's been um, not easy to do either uh, so it's, a lot of it's just been putting small pieces on and then building it up and this is a um, radiator um, then our flying field are all grass and uh, I've had a few plans of retracts and they just don't tend to survive very well uh, you know even though it's a fairly um, good flying strip but um, so I'm, I'm debating whether to put this this on with some magnets so as it lands it will just fly off or whether to mount it quite hard so it, it's almost like a skid uh, so we'll just take the wing off and give you a look inside so there's the holes for the servos and inside the wing there's some channels uh, this is covered in brown paper PVA and then it's been covered in um, yeah, what's it, what have I used on it? I think I've used sand and sear on that possibly, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, these are just for guys at the moment. Uh, quite pleased with the way that's coming up. I've used bolster tips on the end. Uh, so it's really smooth and very light. <laughs> That's made of the same foam XPS. <laughs> so, this has probably been the hardest bit getting this wing seat cut out. Getting the uh, that shape there. Um, and really, basically, all I had to do was take lots of measurements off the drawing and then uh, use the template of the aerofoil and put it on and just hoped it came out alright. <laughs> this front piece here I've just held on with a bolt just so I can do some sanding and shaping for this tropical radiator cow. So that'll That'll probably go on with some magnets as well, just to hold it on there so I can get access to the motor. And the motor it's going to use is this. Uh, Telegy Aero Drive. And it's an 1150kV, 35mm. Uh, I've used one of these on the Spitfire, which is... Uh, She's up up there with another plane on top. And there's the Fox Wolf up there as well. A bit of a wood bird fan. And we've got the Lancaster. Um, I'm also going to try uh, using Poly C. Um, I've seen a few guys use this and it's a bit like using um, fiberglass in an epoxy and this is the uh, lightweight fiberglass and I've tried it on the test piece uh, here and it does seem to give a quite good finish. One of the problems with foam is that it's not always easy to get a nice finish and the uh, so I'm going to give Polysia a go for that. Um. Things I was concerned with was that having cut the wing seat out myself, whether it was in line with the elevator. Um, so I've used my incidence meter uh, with a digital uh, inclinometer. I'll put a link in the description uh, for this. 
Uh, but basically all you do is you you get, get the plane fairly steady, put the enclometer on the wing, set that to, it's got a zero on it, and then move it up onto the elevator. And then you can see how it's, uh, how out of line it is. Um, I think this was down a little bit, um, but eventually I got it uh, near enough. And here are the servos uh, mounted in, and I've actually used a piece of the uh, inside part that was cut out of the fuselage on the CNC machine, which fitted absolutely perfectly. Uh, I'll never throw anything away, me. And here she is, fairly well together now, and I've got the little fin on the tail on it to the rudder. Uh, not looking too bad now. If you made it to the end of the video guys, thanks very much. Uh, please like and subscribe, uh, really appreciate it. And I'll put links in the descriptions for the uh, website and uh, the gauges that I've used in it, which really help. Okay, thanks, bye.